Engels headed to Bell, checks the lead runner at second. The 1-1, one, one. all day rips this one toward right center field. This one's carrying pretty well, and this one is going to one hop into the wall. One run is going to score easily. Now Brennan Moore is heading toward third. Hollett throws up the stop sign. Moore will be held. All day, another double. He does it again. His second in as many nights. He has seven in the month of July, and he has the Stingers in front, one to nothing in the bottom of the third. Who would do that? A ground ball up the middle would do it as well. The 2 1. This is a fly ball towards center field. Smith takes a couple steps back to settle under this one. He's going to make the catch as he comes toward the plate. He fires the ball to third base rather than home to prevent all day from tagging. So Moore tags and scores easily without a play. A 2 1 on the way. Line drive toward right field. This is going to get down. One run's going to score. They're going to wave. Cole Langford around third. Here's all day's throw to the plate. It is cut off, and the ball game is tied 2-2 two two in the ninth. Fingers a 7-6 victory. 1-2. Roberts bouncer toward the third baseman, Jordan Parr. He's down with it, but the throw is up, and Roberts is safe at first base. Mistake. That was an air charge to the third baseman. Is a fly ball by Max Kuhn is gone. A walk-off shot by Max Kuhn gives the Stingers a 4-2 victory in nine innings. Second walk-off home run for the Stingers against the Honkers this year in Bilton Stadium. And this one is a big one. It keeps the Stingers in front of the Duluth Huskies by a game and a half in the standings with 11 to go.